curious George mind. I mean, if you want to give a little biography of thyself, that would be nice. Sure. Um, okay, my name is Amanda. This is my uh, first porno. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, from Wisconsin, where there's, like, a lot of cheese and, therefore, a lot of constipation. Really? So, People who have cheese are always constipated? Really? In general, yes. Hmm. Like I'm a doctor, too, in. so that... Um, Sweet. I learned that in medical school. Um... Yes, yeah, so this sketch is actually going to be pretty awesome because I know all about farting and constipation. Well, now that you put it that way, I've had this back pain for quite some time. Oh, yeah? I really need assistance with it. I mean, wow, it really hurts. <laughs> so that, you're can you do something for my hair loss, too? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, the key is to brush it forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I've been known to make a joke or two. Um, well, what what would you say are some of the interesting things that come up when you write pieces or come up with new and interesting ideas? See, that's the weirdest part. Like, I've been trying lately to come up with, like, more and more creative ideas. And so the last sketch that I wrote is called The Marshmallow and Unicorn Factory. And it's a factory in which they make marshmallows and unicorns, but... It's a really, really dangerous place to work, and they've got all these crazy machinery, like uh, the Snuffle Gupper, which is, <laughs> will like take your eyebrows off and the heartbeat. So I've been looking for like more and more creative, like the the carrot and the bunny sketch. Okay. Um, but sometimes it just gets like ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you could always. I mean, I, I wonder if whether or not people want to resort to the usual things like romance. I always think romance is pretty funny. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, rom com. Um, it is pretty funny. I guess I do like a lot of potty humor though. Really? Oh yeah, my stand-up set is like a bunch of dick jokes and like animal porn. Well, stuff like that. What? What? Well, how many good dick jokes are there? Well, you'd be surprised. Actually, there was this one thing, I'll never forget this, it was really horrible, and I hope you, you're going to probably cast judgment on me, but it all works out in the wash. There was one where I saw clearly where it barely fit in her mouth. Really? <laughs> in, a, in a porno that you watched? Of course. Right, okay. But this was a while back, but I mean, can you imagine the size? No. <laughs> Like a horse or something like that. It wasn't It'd be a horse. hilarious to see like yeah. her trying to like swallow this giant dick, and then it's like cut to oh, it's a giant fucking animal. <laughs> that's why. Ew, that's nasty. That's the reveal Ew. at the end. It's like surprise. It's a horse. Oh. <laughs> or it's a walrus. Do you know how a walrus's dick is? A walrus's dick is about the size that you are. Ew. Ew. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> oh man, that's nasty. Mm -hmm. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, own. now I'm having thoughts. <laughs> like, walrus condom company. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I like that. With the walrus condom, you should. That sounds like something you'd have on the side of a building. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then you know, can you imagine walrus condoms? <laughs> How may we help you? We what would be a good snappy line for walrus condoms? One condom fits more than all, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, they only come in like triple XL. They only come in giant. There you go. Something and like that. The the world's ultima magnum. Okay. You know, but you mentioned something about the whole, uh, and, and I just think this is quite remarkable. Mm -hmm. I have a theory. My theory is that somehow. The food and chemicals that we come in contact with on a daily basis have slightly altered the human genetics. Well, really? Well, that would explain why, I mean, think about it. Why is it that all of a sudden women are able to gush like, a, you know, basically ejaculate like a man? And I, I would say that proof of my statement, if you were to take a bodybuilder from 1952 and compare them to a bodybuilder of 2013, clearly the bodybuilder from 2013 is completely ripped. Yeah. With 
like what four like, percent body fat bulging <laughs> with yeah no body right fat, yeah. Charles Atlas when he, back in his day he was supposedly the fittest man in the world right. and he looks like a guy just walking around in the street today right yeah so that I believe that that's an do example you think that of steroids have microphone. anything to do with that well because you... most bodybuilders like now uh, use steroids like you have to use uh, Lance Armstrong just confessed I think yeah. everybody I mean, is using steroids like, okay. I'm fucking using steroids <laughs> I, I, I go to yoga like once a week that's, uh, but I gotta be you know I gotta be number one so that's, but yeah I mean in the 1950s wait when did when were steroids first created like, I have no clue 70s 80s probably so Maybe I don't know if like Sylvester Sloan. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got to start in porn. Remember? I saw that porn. <laughs> really? She had a bush like fucking. It looked like a cat was strapped to her crotch. <laughs> and <laughs> she kept calling him Sly. Oh man. Oh Sly, so smooth and hard. And I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I can't. They're all so hairy. <laughs> so much. And she had like that curly like seventies afro. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was good. It was great. I watched it on a bus on the way. Um we They showed Slice the Lord's porno on a bus? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How's that possible? Um, well while we were doing that at the bar that I worked at in college, we would take like these trips to go to see baseball games. Like a brewer game. Okay. So it's like a what, like a three-hour bus ride? Three, three-and-a-half-hour bus ride. So we just rent, like, these coach buses and, yeah, watch porn and drink. Bus porn. Oh, yeah, that sounds times. Like it's happened several times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what were the other options, the then, as far as, you know, what people like saw? Like, entertainment? Oh, I think um, one of the movies was, like, Monsters, Inc. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. I mean, I'm, I'm not a porn connoisseur or anything like that. I can't even yeah, me discussion. neither. But I will say this. About 20 some odd years ago, I actually saw, um, what was the one that she's most known for? Um, Deep Throat, I think it is. Linda Lovelace? Mm. Right. Believe it or not, but it actually had a storyline. Really? I mean, it had porn in How it. How long was it? I mean, like a typical... I'd say it was probably at least an hour, maybe an hour and change, but we're going back 20 some odd years. Well, and that's the thing that surprises me about like older porn is an, like a movie's length. And today you get like three minutes, maybe four. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's I mean, like you really, they just get into good stuff. They don't really even. Well, like I said, this, and it's funny that you say that because it was very interesting that you know, between the sex, there really was a storyline. I mean, and as a matter of fact, it even has a happy ending. Really? Like, what was it? The, well, Linda Lovelace ends up in the arms of the guy, and they actually, they clearly they're going to entertain a real-world relationship. It's not like right. it's just all this bang, 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 oh, bang, bang. Oh, so they do it a bunch, and then they're like, want to go out for some brunch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the monitor as you were saying, bang, 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 in the face, look on your face. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> That's like a knockoff of John Witherspoon when he says, bang, 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 bang. I, I, could you imagine if that actually happened at a dinner table, you're at a family gathering, and then like the matriarch of the family says, so I understand that this girl has you under complete control. <laughs> That's going to be me. Like, if I ever have kids, yeah, and they, they try to pull that like fancy crap, no, I'm going to be like, so, son, you're, you're, you're a bitch now. Is that what I'm <laughs> Look I'm, at my son, the little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you said it with a camera. What did I say again? Look I'm, at my son. Of course, son, by then I hope bitch. to have my you know older black man voice. Just like my son, <laughs> got some bitch in him. I didn't know that uh, that was a. Uh, it's not hereditary. I know that much. I didn't think you had a little, you know, you got a little shit. You got a little push on your face a little bit. <laughs> that actually happened to me the other day. Huh? You got some pussy on your face? No, but I saw a pussy on somebody else's face. You walked in on somebody? <laughs> so, what I'm hearing That's is you're going to finish the rest of the story, because I'm... 
That's the end of the story. Yeah, that's all. That's all. You saw all. pussy on someone's face, and then you walked away. Like, okay. And I mean, that, no, that's almost exactly what happened. You so, you so what was the... I, I mean, this is my two cent opinion. I think it would be kind of interesting if, let's say, a uh, couple who were working together, mm -hmm. right? They give each other that look. And let's say, all right, let's make more sense. They, they haven't had sex. So it's the usual setup. It's a late night. They're working together. Then the look comes. Right. Then... You know, clothes coming off. Then they bang each other on the office room table, and that exact moment, the CEO comes back upstairs. It's like late at night, so the CEO comes back upstairs. It like right. Porno as well. It really does sound like a porno. <laughs> what are you doing? I was well, like, keep your job. I gotta join in. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a porno I'd watch. Now that was funny. <laughs> oh, man.